friends, subscribers, and strangers. What's up? Spirit Picker here in a hotel in Hagerstown, Maryland. Next up, thoughts and lessons from the road. All right, you made it this far. I appreciate you. Uh, let's just talk about some things. You cannot imagine when you're in a van stuck by yourself for, this is day number eight on this trip. Uh, it'll be the last day, no matter how far I have to drive tonight. Let's see, Hagerstown, Maryland is 768 miles from my house. <laughs> I still got a ways to go, that's like 11 hours. I'm gonna make 25 stops today. Oops, so that means It'll be 3, 4 a.m. when I get home. I'll make sure I snap a video or something at the, for the next one to show you guys <laughs> how long this day was. But the one of the first things you gotta to gotta understand is out here on the road you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta it's a fight to eat right. Not done the greatest uh, on my diet because I, I've been pushing so hard. Uh, I'll eat one meal good, one meal bad, but, but it's gonna be Monday morning bright, bright and early full full keto and the next time I will get off of it is probably when we go to Austin yeah, end of June. Harlan and I are going to the green room meetup in Austin so looking forward to that. We did that last year. It was an absolute blast. Love meeting everybody. We had a great time. Harlan and I absolutely slaughtered the yard sales there so we're looking forward to to doing that again. We'll be better prepared with more boxes and just understanding. Man we had a mess in the van. The van rattled all the way back with it with some coke. <laughs> you can go back and find that video somewhere with some with some coke racks that I hardly bought that you can't pass them up for. I think you paid five dollars for them. You got to be prepared. And as you can tell, this camera is not on a tripod. I'm actually having to use the hotel on one of the ledges. I forgot the tripod. There's a couple things I forgot on this trip. I should have been a little more prepared on this trip. Uh, I didn't bring a GoPro charger. You know, most of you go, eh, I can live without a GoPro charger. If you're a YouTuber and you, you mainly use GoPros when you're out in the field and you can't charge the batteries, think about that. <laughs> that one was not a big deal. I picked one up at Walmart. So, because there's a Walmart everywhere, they've got the GoPro Hero 7 chargers. So, yeah. The one thing I would tell you is the stuff you can't get on the road, you, those are the critical things that you must... I had, a, I had a memory card go corrupt in in the GoPro, so didn't have any footage on it. It was just one. It was one I was going to use. So Walmart has a bunch of them on sale. So if you need micro SD cards, they're pretty good deals at some WalMarts. So I grabbed one of those as well for I think eighteen dollars or something. It wasn't wasn't bad. One hundred twenty eight gig card. So I've been using it. A couple things you can't find on the road. It's very hard to find three inch tape. So the van in the back has two little cubby holes on the back and, and the way way back so one side of them has three inch tape and you can't where well you can you can find the Dyma labels the 30 334 but they're extremely expensive if you buy them on the road so the other one's got a couple packs of labels in it so that I have run out of both those I have struggled without both those and so you know your options for for Amazon FBA if you're sending from the road or have Amazon label no big deal but that's gonna be a charge and by now, if you've been with me this long, you guys know I'm a cheap, cheap person, and I, I truly believe that money you save is money you, uh, money you make. So, be flexible. I planned this trip. I knew I was coming back today, but I planned to New York, and that was it. You know, I wanted to get out there and find out if the items I was looking for were out there, and then if they were, I would continue on. If not, I would, I would make an adjustment while I was on the road. You know, the option to come back wasn't there. So, you know, be, be flexible in the things you do, places you stay. You know, I generally don't get hotels until five, six o'clock at night just because I want to find out how far down the road I am so I don't waste a lot of movement. And, you know, I get to a store and go, oh my God, I'm an hour from my hotel because I got a hotel too soon. Or, or, or it goes the other way. You know, I've finished all the stores and my hotel's here. Now what? I, I, I've given up an hour, two, three. So be flexible. Um, one thing I tell you, be kind. Um, I didn't learn this one on the road, but I just throw it in there. Yesterday I was pumping gas, and the guy, 
guy who's behind me asked me where I was from in Alabama because can y'all imagine I have Alabama plates and a couple of Alabama things on the man. <laughs> Roll down. He asked me where in um, where in Alabama are you from? So I told him I'm in Huntsville, being about 12 miles from Tennessee. He said that he'd always thought his mother was from Mobile, but he was she had passed away uh, recently. He was going through her papers, and she was actually born in a little bitty town called Uriah, Alabama. He asked me if I knew where it was, and I did. And uh, I had a, some real good friends from college who are it's it's near Bruton, Alabama. It's south of Montgomery, but it's probably midway between Montgomery and Mobile. So I knew where it was. I'd heard of it. And so, you know, I talked to him for a few minutes. Truly nice guy. I enjoyed, enjoyed meeting him. One thing I tell you is look for patterns. Right now, I had planned on this day being a travel day going home. You know, this is part of the being flexible. I did so well yesterday finding stuff that I added all these stops to today's route. And the one thing I found is the items I've been, I've been having the best luck in stores that are not around big population centers. And so I made it a point to pick out stores yesterday. I skipped a couple of big population centers. I skipped Harrisonburg, Pennsylvania, because after a couple of times through there, you know, the items I was looking for were gone. And, and why is that? If you buy a lot of clearance, understand that just people in general, you know, people will find the items. You know, we all, you all would go, oh my God, it's my competition. Sometimes it's just regular people going, hey, that's a great deal on clearance, and they pick it up. So, so yeah, there's that. So look for patterns. So I'm going to stop at some stores that are off the interstate, but small towns. And there's four or five of them I'm going to drive 14, 15 miles off the interstate into the country to, to hit a couple stores. So look for patterns. Try, try new sources. I had someone talk to me about a store and explain to me how well they were doing in it. So I picked up some items there. I, I tried to stay away from anything he was selling. But it's, I actually found that item, he, he looked at me and goes, oh my God, I never, ever, ever would have scanned that. And I bought like a hundred of these over like seven or eight, ten stores. So, I, you can, not only did, did he help me with telling me about a, a new store, which I don't have any, so, I, you know, he didn't, he didn't cause any direct competition. I just ran around a few, uh, any of them that I passed. But, you know, also opens his eyes to items that, Damn, I should have scanned that. Those those type of items do very well. So, you know, you never you never know that whatever you're, you know, maybe helping somebody else, they'll help you as well. And I found that to be the case a lot. Um, let's see, be prepared. I think I, I think my order, I was not prepared for this order of this list because it's out of. <laughs> um, don't forget to have fun. Yesterday was a fun, fun day. Spent uh, the first half of the day with uh, Pat D seventy two. Uh, find his channel up here. Um, he's got a, a very young YouTube channel growing guy. Give give Pat a look and subscribe. He's I think he's got around 700 subs. I, I'd appreciate it if you sub to him so we can push him to a thousand. Give him some encouragement to keep making videos. Keep making videos. You can't imagine how hard it is for new YouTubers to get to the thousand and get to the watch minutes to get monetized. And they have good content. They have good point of view. Um, they have just see things maybe a little different, but the encouragement you can give someone is is truly amazing so hey check pat these out and same thing with jason but i know i mentioned him in the video that this is probably gonna come out before that one banana finds is his channel i'll link it to i've known jason for several years went on vacation with jason and his family we had a great time last year last october in new york i was right before johnny found out she had breast cancer she, she knew she wasn't feeling great so she she was kind of concerned but we did the vacation. We had a wonderful time. He gives me a call and says, "Yo, dude, I got come check out this place. He's the dude's lost his lease. He's going out, and you're not you're just gonna be shocked at the electronics and the computers and the everything." I was amazed. There's a video coming out. We'll show you all that. It's got I shot maybe 30, 40 minutes of just wandering through this place. More Apple stuff that I've ever seen. Apple two two E's, two C's, new stuff in boxes, electronics, you know, audio, video, just you can't imagine the stuff. So look forward to that coming out. And then we met at a Pat D's is like, man, we can meet at a flea we can meet at a flea market. Uh, there might be somebody there. And so, you know, <laughs> wandering around there and actually you'll see the video 
I, I met Taco Stacks. Man, what a nice guy. Awesome, outstanding. I will link his channel, but y'all know who he is. He needs no help, 170 something thousand subs. And just as down to earth as you see in the videos, nice guy. I can't, I can't tell you how, how friendly and kind he is. And I'm, I told him, I'm, he, was, he was like, I think you're the, the person with the largest YouTuber I've ever met. I'm like, oh, yeah, that goes both ways. Cause I, what, you know, with 170,000 subs, I've never met anybody who has that many. It might change at, at eBay Open. I look forward to eBay Open and meeting everyone there. But, so there's a video with him in it. And the flea market he's at, I don't, I don't tell you where it is because, you know, the one thing you'll find out when you start doing YouTube is you develop haters. Sometimes you develop stalkers. <laughs> so yeah, I respect his privacy and and so, but that was a lot of fun meeting him. Uh, he, he was very kind. He had no clue we were coming. We bought some Jason, Pat, and I bought stuff at the flea market, and then we went to to Kimmer Supply. And then I spent the rest of the afternoon uh, sourcing having him one of my better days and I'm like oh lord we're gonna do this all the way home now <laughs> so I just wanted to talk to you about some things that just thoughts from the thoughts from the thoughts from the that random thoughts on the road just how do you be successful you know it's the stuff you know in life you practice every day all day it's you know it's it's a lot of boy scout rules being prepared being kind you know being willing to change and do stuff uh, I can't tell you how far the kindness goes. And, you know, people are like, you go in some bad areas, and and they're always asking me, are you ever concerned for your safety? I can. What can I tell you about bad areas? There are a lot of good, good people that just happen to live in and and rough areas. I have I had no issues. People have been extremely kind on this trip. So, I hope this these thoughts can give you some encouragement of planning your own trip. Do you have to do? I'm over, I'm over 2,500 miles now. Do you have to do an eight day, you know, three, 3,300 mile trip? Absolutely not. But can you take advantage of, draw a circle around your area and go, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan out my day where I spend my day in an area? You absolutely can. And I would encourage you, you know, a lot of people go, but, but, but my store doesn't have anything. Remember when you're dealing with somebody like me, I've been, I've been to hundreds. I've been to 225 of one store alone on this trip, so yeah, put that put that in the put that into your thought process and understand that you know maybe if you go to the town the store in a town over, that might be your, the key that unlocks everything for you. So try something different. All right, I'm gonna throw my shoes on, pack the rest of this hotel up because you can see the the suitcase is not quite finished, and first door just open. Let's hit it. Roll Tide, thanks for watching. Appreciate you doing the YouTube stuff. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share this one. Hopefully, it can help someone under attitude, someone new. Uh, and the two guys, uh, sub to sub to Pat D72 and the Banana Finds. Uh, I, I personally appreciate it. Have a great day.